Well, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm Peter. I'm here today with Kristen. Hi, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> and uh, this is our first of our uh, LM virtual online shows um, coming to you new, uh, you know, new format. And uh, we're really happy to have you here. Um, so uh, we're going to have a series of uh, different speakers today, some of the elders from the Living Miracles community. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, along with a number of residents, we've got seven shows lined up for you today, and they'll be starting on the hour every hour. So you can just block out your whole Sunday and join us. Okay. So first up, uh, we're going to have uh, a show called Beyond the Body, and that's with Calico and with a guest, Lila. And so uh, we'll cross over to them now. Just a little runaway 47 years and still I'm on the run Afraid of love I'm keeping God at bay Spending days in a nightmare ain't much fun I am just a little runaway For my misery always blaming someone else I'm really Everybody, to this is beyond the body! Woo! <laughs> divine inspiration that's all i really know and uh it's going to be a weekly program a weekly format i'm going to have guests on and we're going to discuss all the things about the body and the ways that we use the body to block ourselves from seeing the love that we are and um i guess i'm a specialist in this because i've used my body to block love my entire life and uh it wasn't until I got the diagnosis of stage four uterine cancer that I really got the power of my mind. And that is a gift. And so we're also going to be discussing a whole new paradigm in how to be with illness. Um, by the way, I'm really excited about my guest today, <laughs> Lila Stenberg. Um, my gift from God. <laughs> She's a sister, she's a goddess that was also diagnosed with liver cancer and um, she's been doing it differently too. So you're gonna have a lot of resources um, for how to take on illness differently today. That's really kind of how we're, what we're discussing today. But we're gonna be talking a lot about uh, uh, many aspects of the body throughout the programs that we have here. So. I just want to start the show with a piece from A Course in Miracles, the, one of the obstacles to peace. And anyone that has or is dealing with any kind of body shame issues, um, this is a big obstacle to getting beyond it to see the peace and joy and love that you are. So let me share this with you. Yet would I offer you my body. You whom I love, knowing its littleness? Or would I teach that bodies cannot keep us apart? Mine was no, of no greater value than yours, no better means for communication of salvation, but not its source. No one can die for anyone, and death does not atone for sin but you can live to show it is not real. <laughs> the body does appear to be the symbol of sin, while you believe that it can get you what you want, while you believe that it can give you pleasure, you will also believe that it can bring you pain. To think you could be satisfied and happy with so little is to hurt yourself and to limit the happiness that you would have calls upon pain to fill your meager store and make your life complete. This is completion as the ego sees it. For guilt creeps in where happiness has been removed and substitutes for it. 
communion is another kind of completion which goes beyond guilt because it goes beyond the body. <sighs> so it is with such joy <laughs> that I get to introduce two women in my life. <laughs> and we had, um, there was much that was shown to us this week. And we had the opportunity to really live this particular principle in such a big way. And um, Lila Stenberg, who's in Hawaii, <laughs> is going to be joining us with Mikey, who's her caregiver. And well, there were many of us that went through this process with them, but they were kind of the two key players. And I got a huge healing out of it, um, for it looked like Lila was passing. And um, through this process, everyone's going to share their perspective, which is going to give a much bigger picture of what was going on. And so with that, I think, Lila, if you're ready, I would like to just have, pass it over to you and have you share your story of what occurred this week or anything you want to share, because everything that comes out of your mouth I love. Um, but just to start the program off with that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Am I on? Can people hear You're me? You're on. Okay. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> I just want to say that I'm delighted, totally delighted to be here. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a great calling for the mind to light up about this topic of sickness and mm -hmm. cancer and things that are so seemingly so dark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I just, you know, I'm in the laughter stage of it all. Um, <laughs> I can only share what's happened in the, in the present, you know, um, and and last week apparently <laughs> there was an episode <laughs> played out in form that um, uh, I had no clue of what went on uh, because really I uh, I was you know at the pearly gates I was with the father I was communing and. I didn't want to come back. <laughs> and uh, I was quite <laughs> communing with everyone. <laughs> it was so, um, it was, it was so glorious. But um, as I came to, I started realizing um, all the things that were happening in seeming form that might have looked like I was suffering or, or something. <laughs> but I had no idea it looked that way because I wasn't here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, apparently, uh, you know, I was uh, strapped to the bed. Um, I I was um, uh, 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 there was thing. Uh, Micah can explain this part because <laughs> you were in there. Because I wasn't here, I I don't remember it any of it. <laughs> and um, all I know is that uh, there was one night that I was coming back, you know, and, and so, um, I realized that Calico, you're, you're my savior. 
uh, because the remembrance of saying yes to the show before <laughs> all this transpired, <laughs> and this one, Micah, coming in <laughs> and playing her part and listening and following, it it dawned on me that uh, <laughs> you know the spirit had the Holy Spirit had the some things to say through this mouth <laughs> and it's all about really bringing the light to such seeming dark uh, topics <laughs> mm. and I just uh, uh, feel I'm witness to uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. to the joy of really getting in touch with the, the guidance you know and the guidance can take on many uh, different um, um, ways that will that you can hear it, you know. Um, so uh, yeah. So I, I think with that, um, uh, perhaps I'll have more to share after Micah shares her part. And uh, because the miracles are just, they're just, they're just cascading. They're just continually cascading. I could tell you a million of them. And there there will be some sharing perhaps about all the miracles. Um, And, and so, uh, I don't know, Mike, I think I'm going to hand it over to you right now. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, everyone. (laughs) Um, (laughs) yeah so last week was a trip um but it's such a beautiful trip because I had a lot of people saying um when I when I told some people that I couldn't be in contact because I had some hospital stuff going on and I told them what happened a little bit and a lot of people told me oh that must be so heavy for you and oh I'm thinking of you it's oh it's so heavy so heavy and I thought nothing here is heavy really yeah. nothing is heavy we're, we're we <laughs> didn't have a heavy week it was a miraculous week really <laughs> yeah it wasn't heavy I I learned so much and and um and yeah, I was up the whole freaking night, which is not good for me normally, but I wasn't tired. I I was just doing whatever needed to be done and everything worked out. And um, for me, it was so beautiful to, um, well, looking back at it, not really in the moment, but to um, see Lilab just becoming the shell and because she wasn't there anymore at all um and it took me a while to realize that but i it kind of dawned on me when she started asking for whiskey (laughs) 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 and uh, um But there was so much violence coming out. She was super violent. And that's why she had to be tied to the bed, right? And it took three big men to put her in the ambulance because she didn't want to go. And, um, yeah, it, I don't know. It, what I could see was a body being in pain because the body was definitely in pain, but I had never seen Lila in pain. So... That's another. Oh no! There, because the ammonium level were levels were too high, so she they just put her. Um, I think they they gave you a tranquilizer or something. You were sleeping the whole time. Mm. But what I saw was sometimes the body was waking up and and doing its thing and screaming a little bit and, and, and moving around. And I really didn't think that Lila would come back I, because what I saw was this huge light and I was always connected to that light. And I was just sitting next to her bed and meditating and 
connecting with that light. Um, so I really didn't think that she would come back. I mean, why would you, right? <laughs> but then all of a sudden she did. She woke up and I was expecting her to scream again. And she's like, hey, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was back and then the, the, the same evening a few hours later she was you were you were calling people and being all your happy self again and that was that was a miracle but the most wonderful thing to see was that the body wasn't in pain anymore when she woke up so before that the shell definitely was feeling uncomfortable the whole time I mean, when she woke up there was no pain anymore right no, no. <laughs> And see, the thing, the thing that's really, uh, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't here. I was really in, in the light. I was, I was, you know, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm in my glory. <laughs> I'm in total glory. And I'm, I'm with everyone every living thing I'm with and, <laughs> and we're all sharing we're all extending this vastness from this from the mind of God mm. <laughs> <laughs> but laying there the the second night when um you know I was still constrained and apparently I uh, the mind called that forth because at some level uh, because I, I was laying there and just allowing it to be, and I dropped so deep, uh, um, deeper than I've, <laughs> deeper than I've ever experienced, and um, total surrender, total, total surrender uh, to be back, and. Um, you know, I know uh, why um, things transpired the way they did. I keep on getting these, these um, um, all that transpired just still keeps on coming in because mm -hmm. it, it's like, holy moly. Um, but, yeah, I had no, no clue at all what went on I was I was in the light and I was just um, yeah and when I came back and I was laying in bed uh, uh, tied it's like you know I was at perfect peace with that with perfect peace and that's when I uh, remembered the yes um, so you're my savior because you asked me to join you. And I said, yes. And I said, this is why I'm back. <laughs> because I said, yes. And <laughs> the, the spirit wants to, you know, use the voice uh, to bring light to uh, this topic and to bring joy to it because we can, the mind rises above all of this when we really listen and follow and get in touch with, you know, uh, <laughs> our divinity, our, you know, our, our wholeness, our holiness, our completeness. And, you know, I don't know, I just, um, <sighs> Yeah, it felt, it felt just so beautiful to be back. And after that, I mean, you know, I've been up and about and moving around and, you know, don't remember a thing about anything about uh, just coming back to, for the yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And I realized, um, you know, Micah was sharing, uh, a bit uh, with me about how uh, she was able to uh, reach a point in mind where um, she didn't have false empathy. Things transpired where she didn't have false empathy. It was just like 
being true to the light, you know, just being true to the light and, and, um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so everyone got out of it, you know, exactly what was needed. Um, and, you know, for many years I didn't speak, but you know, I surrendered the body completely at one point, and um, the body's been being used as a demonstration <laughs> 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 um, you know, uh, <laughs> above all of it, you know, uh, above the body and beyond the body, there's some... Um, you know, there's great joy, and and uh, we can we can let go and die before we die, mm -hmm. and live a glorious life without lack or scarcity thoughts. You know, <laughs> or you know, so it's possible. <laughs> and I'm 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 the miracle that uh, I'm I'm the the light that is to bring this forth, this topic worth joining with you, Calico, my savior, and, and mm. Micah, and, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, when you t share your stories with me, I'm, I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, uh, you know, lots of visuals come in and, uh, and uh, yeah, I I'm feeling you have something to share, Calico. Uh, now from your from your side, yeah. Well, you know, you talked about your vision changing. Could you share a little about your vision changing? Oh yes, I could. I could. Um, I guess the best way I can put it in words is seeing around the edges. <laughs> um, so I would see bodies, but in the state of mind, um, they would hollow out. And, you know, there was just this brilliant light coming from them. And that was the light that we're all sharing. That we that we are joined in that that's the only thing that can be communicated the, is the thoughts of God and and so um, I, I was having this experience of that you know and so uh, now it's just like everything fades into that because it's like um, I see the the magnificence of of the light that we are and and so yeah the the mind just sort of goes right to that you know and uh i mean I, i'll see a body but then the changes it, it, the the visuals just change and uh you know i guess the best way if i uh, uh if uh, it's like seeing the uh, sun eclipsed by the moon and you see all the brightness that's coming out all around. And that's what I see when I see everyone. <laughs> it's like so glorious. I just thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because we're, we're, I mean, it's all unified. There's no duality in that at mm. all. And that is true liberation and freedom. <laughs> and we can live that life. <laughs> 
between joy <laughs> and laughter. And <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much Lila I love you guys <laughs> beyond universes my love goes to you <laughs> and, and with that being said I want to just switch cameras for a moment because we have special technology and we're going to get a shot of it's, it's on. Okay. <laughs> okay is is this kind of the way you see Lila <laughs> Because this is what God wants for us. <laughs> I think that is it, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And you know, I just need to say, I thank you so much for your share. You are just, you've been such a light for me. Do I have a masking pick? No, okay. <laughs> You've been such a light for me because part of my process, and I wanted to share this with everybody, yeah. when Mike, Mike had called me and was sharing that Lila was having some stuff go on, and she shared about being tied to the bed and all of these things, the healing for me was I still feared losing control of the body you know there was an attachment to being in charge of bodily functions and controlling my emotions and controlling you know the bowels and controlling all those things and so my healing was really to get in touch with the fear <laughs> and you gifted me that and i get you weren't there because I needed the healing. You were at the pearly gates. <laughs> but it was my fear being projected that I was able to see and clear because of you going through that experience. Mm -hmm. And this is the nature of how we're healing here. It, it, one person doesn't get cancer. We all have to deal with our cancer. And it's in our minds. Mm -hmm. It's these negative thoughts, and it's not even fear of disease. It's having, having a grievance about mm -hmm. another holy child of God, no matter what. That's the forgiveness. Mm -hmm. That's the healing. That's what gets us to this place of, I'm clear when you decide to lie your body down, mm -hmm. it will be so easy for all of us now. Mm. And I just need to say, don't go too quickly. And I'm, I may be speaking wrong right now, but Lila and Micah and I have talked about doing a retreat in Hawaii. <laughs> you know, so whoever would say no. Spur of the moment. So, folks, if you're interested, <laughs> we have a special guest joining us. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say that um, Calico came to Camas some over a month ago for a little mission, and that mission was to work on the, the course of uh, sickness for the doorway, a new course, which Lila, you had worked on as well. And mm -hmm. I've watched this whole process of getting underneath all of these obstacles in the mind. And, and when you guys see Lila and Calico, they've done a tremendous amount of work in their mind. And I said to her this morning, I said, I know there's a tremendous amount of joy, <laughs> which is a beautiful demonstration. And that there's people in the audience 
that are going through whatever they're going through and you guys are the kind of like the demonstration of how to do this differently and that's what I've seen I mean Lila we've been together for years and years and years and we went deeply deeply into the mind and the joy of seeing the transcendence <laughs> of what's what's really possible for all of us is right here and present mm -hmm. and I just wanted to share that that this show is so beautiful to be able to start to offer the comfort and the support and you know really to really extend what you've learned you know it's Absolutely. just amazing and and mm. she has said many many times um sickness has never felt so joyful but it's not really the sickness yeah. really the yeah. sickness is, is kind of a motivator but we all have motivators in different ways <laughs> yeah. I mean, our motivators can be all sorts of things and usually it is the pain that motivates us right to go beyond it which if we can look at it that way, then there really is no problem, right? It's really just kind of the kick to start to turn our mind towards home mm -hmm. because that's our, that is our collective devotion, I feel. Anybody that's drawn to this program and to this day to join with us in this way is because we have a calling for awakening and to be able to be with these beautiful demonstrations mm -hmm. of you know what? It hasn't always been pretty. It hasn't always been pretty. They had to really look at the darkness in their own minds. And I just wanted to hop on and just say thank you, thank you so, so much for the living demonstration that we all are to each other and that we can join in that strength, you know, into the strength. And I think that that's what I would love to hear about is how did you do that? You know, how That's did what you the show is about? <laughs> <laughs> Come to the retreat. <laughs> um, you know, and, and that it, it it really is I wanna I have to stay focused on time too. Um, you know, one of the things that, that Lila and I've talked about and and I really feel like she's my co host in this and, and however often she wants to join the program, it's my invitation mm -hmm. that she joins us. Um, mm -hmm. That we really want to show the magnificence of who we are and it's our circumstances that keep us small and scared. <clears throat> and, and there's something I want to read that Lila wrote to me right after this episode. Mm -hmm. and, uh, if you don't mind, Lila, I'd love to read this that you wrote, <laughs> minus the swearing. <laughs> a little reminder, there is no monster inside of you. Fall in love with the darkness. With the blank and the blank of life, the shadows, the hidden parts, the bits we hide out of shame, fall in love with the innocence our childhood fears of the dark, of being exposed, of showing ourselves, being seen, coming into the light. The doubts, the secret pains, our strange fantasies, feelings we just don't know what to do with, terrors of the nighttime, the rage that bubbles just under the surface, the fear that we are not lovable, the feelings and thoughts we conceal to maintain the image of me, to be good, to be nice, to be spiritual, to be the one who can hold it all together. Fall in love with this secret humanity. Know that darkness is not darkness, only scared, scared fragments longing to come into the light. Beings who want love and attention and breath and inclusion in the larger picture of self. Do not seek the light, friend. Simply be the light. Be what you are, the light of life. And have the courage to shine fully on the sore places, the tender places. Illuminate, radiate. Make it safe for the little monsters to come out of hiding. Mm -hmm. Let them know they are beautiful and worthy. 
and not monsters at all. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So for those watching this program, wherever you find yourself, whatever monsters are currently showing up in your lives, I guess just take heart. <laughs> That's what A Course in Miracles is about. It's not about looking good. <laughs> and we're going to talk about that in future programs because this is beyond the body. We're looking at what can happen if you're willing, if you're willing to share the scary, sp scary stuff and expose it, and expose it with ones that aren't going to judge it, mm -hmm. that are holding your hand, that are telling you billions of angels <laughs> are holding us. Mm -hmm. yeah. They just want us to come out of our shells. And that's who you are, Lila, to me. And you give me the courage to come out of mine. <laughs> so with that being said, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I just want to say that this will be a weekly show. And we are going to be discussing all the things that we hide in our bodies. Um, just topics such as I want to, I mean, and this is, my healing, you have to understand, this is completely my healing. Addressing body shame, fear of fat. We are dying every moment we make somebody wrong and the quickest way to stop. Loving your circumstance no matter what. Miracle working. We're going to be talking about all these topics and I'm going to have profound people to join and share with their experience like Lila and... Uh, so I just hope that you join us next week and we'll pick up what topic Holy Spirit decides to pick up next week. And I thank you, Lila and Mikey, for just being in my life. Yeah. Bye for now, everybody. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so much, that guys. That was tremendous. Uh, really beautiful. Malika and Lila, I mean, that was gorgeous. What a way to kick it off. <laughs> oh, how brilliant. <laughs> so that's what it's all about. Everyone's just really going to be sharing from their personal experience, uh, personal miracles, what they've been going through, and just sharing from the heart, just authentically. How gorgeous. I'd <laughs> the sun of God remember. Turn